watching our video. The title of our paper is Hypothesis Generation from Text Based on Coevolution of Biomedical Concept. Let's get right into the problem statement. Given an input concept of interest, A, we would like to identify implicit links, C, that connects A and C in a semantically meaningful way. For instance, if the input concept A is a disease, the implicit link C could be a drug that treats this particular disease. Now, as the link between A and C is not known before, it's called hypothesis. So why is this problem of hypothesis generation important? This is because formulating hypothesis using traditional scientific methods is very time consuming and expensive. This is mainly due to the exponential growth of scientific knowledge, as you can see from this figure. So we need computational models that can automatically suggest hypotheses that are new, interesting, and likely to be true. To handle this problem, different approaches based on distributional statistics, graph-based measures, and supervised machine learning techniques have been proposed. But the main drawback of these studies is that they miss implicit links. To address this problem, we model this problem in latent space. Modeling in latent space allows us to capture implicit connections at a finer level. So how do we capture implicit connections? To capture implicit connections, we use the concept of word embeddings. As many of you may already know, word embeddings are dense, low-dimensional vector representation of words. So how do we utilize word embeddings for the task of hypothesis generation? Our key intuition is the following. If the semantics of two disjoint concepts are coming closer to each other over the period of time, then these two concepts are likely to form a meaningful connection in the near future. And how do we accomplish this? We accomplish this by encoding temporal dynamics in the generation of word embedding for biomedical concept. This is the high-level high overview of our model. We have two components. The first is corpus-based temporal dynamics. To generate corpus-based temporal dynamics, we exploit this historical biomedical corpus. At the same time, biomedical domain also has several ontologies. And these ontologies evolve over the period of time too. So we generate ontology-based temporal dynamics too. Now since these two types of information are complementary, we propose to collaboratively exploit them and generate embeddings that are sensitive to both corpus and ontology. And finally, we use this final embeddings to identify implicit links. If you are further interested, please refer to our paper.